Welcome back to Current. It is time for your Beauty Beat because it is Tuesday. Now, last week we covered spring makeup trends. This week we got you covered with hair trends. Uh, we all know one that everyone is talking about, and I have it right now, that infamous, infamous middle part. Here to talk about all those trends with me, of course, my friend, beauty expert, Christina Gallardo. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? We're both... In, in style right now with our middle parts. I love it. According to some middle parts, definitely yeah. what people are talking about these days. Can you tell us, because there's been this kind of battle Gen Z and Gen X about that middle part, what's the latest details? I mean, it's all about the middle part. Apparently, like, if you don't wear a middle part, that means you're automatically old and aging yourself. <laughs> I obviously like to go with whatever complements and frames your face best because not everybody can pull off a middle part. True. Mm -hmm. Um, but in terms of like other interesting trends that are out right now <laughs> is much artist may, um, that mullet is back. And I know you and I had talked about this, but this time at least they're giving it more of a feminine approach with a less boxy, softer shape. I mean, Miley Cyrus looks okay pulling it off, but she can do anything that she wants. Um, and then those who want a less severe mullet, it's all about the shag. The modern shag is like the mullet shag hybrid. And this look works for all hair types, curly, straight, long, mid-length, and even your shorter hair. Um, and what you might see from these previous looks is a trend with these styles is bangs. So people are wanting to switch up their look without losing that length of their hair. So we're seeing a lot of bangs from blunt to wispy to even curtain bangs. And curtain bangs are super popular right now because they are a great bang option without that full commitment. You can still tuck them behind your ear or pull, your hair, pull them back if you don't want them in your face. But they're also a really nice face framing option without a full-on blunt fringe. <laughs> yeah, face framing, very important. I remember when I got mine cut, you were the first person I saw and I was so upset. And the first thing you told me was, it frames your face very well. So here we are. See, you are ahead of the trend and now you're all set. And now we saw fringe bangs. What else are we looking for when it comes to shorter haircuts? Yeah, so the beloved bob continues to be a staple. We're seeing that classic chin length cut in other versions too. So we're seeing short and swoopy, asymmetrical, the blunt cut, also those that are all about texture and people are still playing with color and having fun with it. Also, the big chop is in. And I think it must be people still trying to cleanse themselves from the rest of 2020, but we're seeing it either super short or in a pixie variation. And you can see that Tiffany Haddish and Demi Lovato are great examples of celebrities who've embraced that trend and like rocked it out. They look gorgeous. Um, and then we're also seeing a lot of embracing natural curls and texture. It's all about rounder, fuller shapes and heatless texture, which I mean makes sense because who wouldn't really want that air dried ease? Yes, that is true. And that Demi Lovato cut makes me so jealous. I really, really want it. So watch out out there when I call my stylist <laughs> for that. All right, well, if you could say, we're seeing just one overall trend this season, what do you think that would be? It's all about having fun with your hair. It's about beauty, natural and simple. And it's about self-expression and self-care. All right, great advice from you as always. Hopefully I don't come in with a chop tomorrow. If you want to stay up to date with Christina, you can see her here every Tuesday. You can also follow her on Instagram for more beauty and wellness tips. You can find her at makeup by Christina G underscore. Thanks, Christina.